746 Kendall I'm having trouble going to sleep because it's so light out. Yes, exactly. The sun is staying up in the sky a lot longer these days, which is fantastic. And so as we take a look on our sunlight timeline, we officially have 14 hours and seven minutes of daylight today. So just try to take advantage of the sunshine that we have, especially this morning, because we aren't going to see a lot of sun as we head into the next several days. And that's because we have multiple rounds of showers and thunderstorms. So this morning, if you do have any plans today, I would really recommend trying to get those plans done this morning because widespread showers and thunderstorms come into the forecast later on this afternoon and evening and will stick with us all week long. So showers and thunderstorms are currently up to the north of us in Kansas. Southeast Kansas, you folks are seeing a few scattered showers this morning, so you definitely want to grab your rain gear as you head out the door. But for the most part, the rest of us are still dry, so that's the good news. But the main weather story, the main weather concern is how much rain we are going to be seeing through next Saturday. So right now we could see anywhere from five or more inches for Tulsa and down to the south and to the east for portions of northwest Arkansas. And then it is going to decrease slightly as we look off to the west. But anyway, you cut it. We are going to have a lot of rain that's going to fall over the next several days. And what about the next eight to 14 days as we round out the month of May? Well, right now our latest thinking is that we are still going to be wetter than normal and also temperature wise, we're going to be warmer than normal. So we are headed right on into summer and we're warming up quickly. So this is taking a live look this morning out at the gathering place where we're seeing a mix of sun and clouds and we are seeing temperatures in the 60s. So 68 degrees currently. Winds are out of the south southeast at 10 miles an hour. Our humidity is at 78%. Dew point is at 61 and our pressure is rising this morning. And all across the state we are seeing similar temperatures. It is just a little bit cooler off in the panhandle mid 50s. Oklahoma City is in the mid 60s and we're in the mid to upper 60s in a lot of locations. So 68 in Tulsa, 67 in McAllister, and 63 this morning up in Coffeyville, Kansas. But we are seeing showers and thunderstorms later on this afternoon. So by lunchtime, showers and thunderstorms are knocking on our doorstep. So like I said, try to get those outdoor plans done this morning because they are going to roll across green country this afternoon and evening. So it is going to be a soggy into our Sunday. But just know that it's not a complete washout. Some locations will see heavier amounts, especially down to the south of I-40. Afternoon highs will top out in the upper 70s and then as we head into the overnight time frame more showers and thunderstorms are in the forecast so you can see this trend we're starting off tomorrow morning in the 60s and we'll see a break midday and then afternoon highs tomorrow we will top out in the upper 70s and then as we head into Tuesday same song different verse we're hanging out with overnight lows this week in the 60s and then by the afternoon once again in the 70s and more showers and thunderstorms are in the forecast so get ready for a wet and stormy week as you can see See daily chances of showers and thunderstorms each day, but the good news is that it is going to be feeling like spring out there as temperatures will be in the upper 70s and low 80s. More weather news is coming up after the break.